Space Shuttle, this is Flight Safety. Keep your hands on the handrail or inside the vehicle and remain seated while in motion. You are clear for launch. Have a great flight to Starport 75. Hey, Glenn. Hey, Chris. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Good. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Awesome. We're back. What are we going to we talk are. about today? We is this are. one of them uh, topic shows? What is this? What are we doing? It's not. So, yeah, well, yeah. So, we're going to talk about one topic. One topic is rumors, is everything. All right. <laughs> so, These are my favorite shows. It's wide open. I know. We can we can say whatever we want. <laughs> That's the thing. None of it has to be real. That's None of it right. has to make sense. Yeah, it's just like this dreamy land of whatever we think things should be. That's right. Okay. No, my favorite. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. You ready? Yep. All right, so the first thing is uh, there are some rumored opening dates that have been revealed for Epcot. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So yeah. the um, first thing is the Ratatouille ride in at France hmm. is a bit ahead of the October 1st, 2021 date. So Gosh, 2021 that sounds, that, that is sounds when... sounds so far away. Like it 20, does, but guess what? It's not that far away. Yeah. Um, 2021 is when Walt Disney World will turn 50 years old. Mm, not just Disney World. Yeah, shut up. So, um, <laughs> so it is. It it should open. The Ratatouille ride should open um, in 2021. And I don't know. You just went to Epcot not long ago. I think a couple weeks ago. Yep. And uh, guess where did I didn't you go. see? Oh, you didn't go back there? <laughs> I guess where we didn't go. Uh, no, we didn't go any any sort of the back part at all okay. of the World Showcase. No. Nope. Okay. But well, we're probably going to go back soon. I'll go check it out. Okay, cool. Because I've seen pictures, and you can see the structure. Um, it's it's rising behind. Like, uh, if you're looking at Morocco, yep. you know, towards France, like, you can really see it, apparently. Oh, really? Wait, from um, across the lagoon? Well, I'm sure you can see it from a lo- across oh, the lagoon. I didn't even lagoon, notice. But, um, but know. even if you're, like, just in front of Morocco. Oh, the bathrooms right there, you know. Side. Okay, and nice and you look that way towards France, like it's apparently a pretty big building that's hmm. okay. painted in the infamous uh, "Go Away Green." So, <laughs> is that is that a? Did you make that up, or is that a real thing? No, oh no, that's a real thing. <laughs> Go Away Green. That's funny. I've never heard. It that. is on the uh, Keys to the Kingdom tour. They uh, they told us about Go Away Green. Oh, really? Yeah, they paint all of the buildings that they don't want you to notice. Uh, this the exact same. No, no, no. I know that. Yeah, yeah. I know, but I didn't know it. I don't. It's called. Don't yeah, they call they call it go away uh, internally. Green. That's funny. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. Actually, right. one of <laughs> one of the um, on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Um, there's <laughs> somebody's uh, handle. Is somebody's that? handle is go away green. <laughs> it's uh, Hal Bowers. He's he's one of the. Uh, uh, the retro WDW yeah, yeah. crew. Um, yeah. He's he's a he's a great guy actually. Mm. Um, and you friends? Uh, his uh, no, I mean we're not friends, but we've we've uh, tweeted back and forth a little bit. Um, but anyway, so yeah, he's go away green. So you, we can't. Take <laughs> That's that. great. Oh, yeah. Darn, I was going to use that. <laughs> Show title. All right, go away green. So hey, did we ever determine is this going to have any impact on uh, on the movie there? Uh, uh, yes, it has been determined. It has. It will have no impact on the movie. Oh, good. Good Which is good. awesome. Yeah. So yeah very awesome. They're not taking anything away to yeah. this is an addition. So don't don't mess with my air conditioning. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it's uh so it, it's it's gonna be you go, you know, uh kind of towards the back to mm-hmm. to actually get to the ride. So anyway, yeah. uh it'll be awesome. Cool. I can't, I can't wait. wait for that. I, I like that ride. Yeah. It's a I think it's a sleeper hit. I, I don't know how popular it is with most of the folks, but I, I think the more every time I see it, uh, I like it even more. So yeah. I'm looking forward to the ride. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. I like I haven't read like what it because it's over in Paris, right? Already? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I haven't read what it is, but twenty twenty one though, I got a long time to. You got a to couple it. years here. Well, that's a lot of shows between now and then. Okay, it is. I know. <laughs> what else you got? So uh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway mm-hmm. in uh, Hollywood Studios, yeah, is scheduled to open in twenty nineteen. So next year. Wow. Um, and it's supposed that's to be cool. next summer. Uh, it should open. I'm looking forward to that one, too. So ahead of um, uh, Star Wars uh, Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. And then the Gardens of the Galaxy and Tron roller coasters are still on track for uh, sometime in 2021. Yeah, let me tell you. I was at at Epcot recently, Mm -hmm. and uh, I don't think I shared any pictures with you. Um, I'm sure you've seen them on the boards and everything because nothing's secret over there anymore. But it was crazy to see, like, peek over the the. Uh, actually, what I did was I went up on one of the grassy knolls, so to speak, not okay. to dredge up, not to dredge up bad history, but on the, on one of the grassy berms. Is berm better? Can I use, is sure. it a berm? Sure, berm is better. Yes, I use berm. 
uh, went to the top of the berm and so I could see over the fence. I actually have some pictures I should send you. Yeah, you've probably seen them. But you could see into the University of Energy building. Yeah. I've, I've, completely I've, gutted. Yeah, like all there is left is the frame as far as I could tell. It crazy. is amazing. Like how just like holy cow. They really just like I, I like why even leave that? Just bulldoze the whole thing. And, you know, but whatever it's completely empty and then the new part they're building my god it is it is it's like a i don't know what how actual tall it is but it's like a, a thousand story building or something it, it is a big structure yeah and i was talking to melissa about it we're uh you know we're at the park and uh mm-hmm. this guy in front of us he he overs here overhears our conversation and um uh, he's like yeah that's that's the new uh guardians of the galaxy uh a ride i'm like oh oh really okay yeah. Do, do you know who I am, sir? Yeah, I, I have a say, podcast. Did you, exactly. Did you say that you're a host of a <laughs> He's Disney like, podcast? yeah, it's going to be an indoor ro- roller coaster. I'm like, really? Yeah. Wow. Inside, you say? Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I'm internet famous. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not, hello. Not internet famous. I'm like in my home office famous. <laughs> that's, that's where I am famous. <laughs> so, um, so one thing you said, why, why not bulldoze it? So since yeah. this is a rumor show, and I, okay. I'm just going to say this, and I because right. I read it somewhere. And um, I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm going to say it anyway. So <laughs> the reason they don't tear down uh, these things is mm-hmm. for tax purposes. Huh. So I know they do that with houses. Like that, yeah. that's the way you, cause it's a remodel, not a, not exactly, a build. Exactly. Exactly. So they don't have to pay taxes on a new structure. Come on. Uh, seriously. seriously. It, because from what I understand, they're still for the little mermaid ride in the magic kingdom. Yeah. There's still a wall. That was used for 20,000 leagues under the sea. And because they're still using that same wall, it is, uh, it's considered still an improvement on that attraction. Listen, you're lucky. This is rumor show. I'm going to let this conversation stand, but really come on. It's what I read and on the internet. So it has to be, (laughs) it must be true. It has to be true. I mean, I guess it could be, but I mean, Disney owns like that's their it's well, their town. No, I know, but I mean, they just had look. They just had the um, they're having a fight right now with the Orange County uh, tax appraiser, right? Are they? Oh yeah, that's right. We talked about it, like a hundred billion dollars or something. Yeah, the well, they're so they're having a fight over right now over the um, the Yacht and Beach Club, the value of the Yacht and Beach Club. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, and so you know the tax. And I'm going to get the numbers wrong, but. Yeah. I think the tax appraiser saying it's it's worth three hundred fifty million, and Disney saying, "Oh no, it's uh, two hundred and eighty million, Which you know it doesn't sound like a lot when you're talking millions, but but you apply taxes to that, and it's like, oh, okay, it can be pretty significant. Maybe and and then multiply money, can... multiply that throughout their whole you know resort. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, so no, I I do kind of believe that. I guess, but I mean, like you would think there'd be a tipping point somewhere between. Like it's got to be easier just to bulldoze it and build again. Like you know what I'm saying? I know. Like I how know. much Instead we of like incorporating? Okay, we're going to save ten million, but it's going to cost us twelve million. So yeah. like, I don't know. But maybe for, maybe for right. a universe of energy, I can understand because it's, it's an, an iconic, iconic, thing. right? Right. right. Yeah. So okay, you keep the outside of the building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah still, this um, is it's fun to think about. We should get somebody on to yeah. do. Do you know any Disney accountants we can get on? I, no, I don't. Uh, right, then we'll just have to make it up. That's right. Anyway, yeah, sorry to derail us, but uh, I was really it's it's an impressively high structure they're building. Yeah, like, I can't even imagine. No, it's it's kind of crazy it's going actually. Yeah. Okay. Like I wonder if they're going to put any kind of uh, theming or anything on. Well, they're that either going to have to hide it, or yeah, or they're going to have to just because um, there's other buildings like that where they they painted a color that it kind of blends in, or they might they might uh, plant some really tall trees at that point. So I'm like yeah. really. Large oh, pines or true. something. They could mm. kind of hide it that way. I guess so. Huh? Yeah. Um, who knows? I mean, we'll find out in like uh, six years or something. Because they pretty much, I'm thinking of like Splash Mountain. Like most of the show is, you know, it's, it's right. painted it's that green, but but yeah. they do have trees. Well, Soren, um, Soren as well. Soren's a huge building, but it's sort of painted in camouflage, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of blends in. Yeah. Plus, it's Epcot. They don't really care. So it'd just be like, whatever. <laughs> Right. It's science. Yeah. <laughs> it's science. What about science? <laughs> nice. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Um, next uh, crazy rumor is the Disney Skyliner gondolas will not be air conditioned. I believe this. But will feature onboard, onboard audio. I believe you believe this. this. I do. You want to know why? Please, please 
enlighten me. Now, I don't know the exact math involved and whatnot, okay. yeah. but here's, here's what I'm going to tell you. For a, a couple of times, I took flying lessons. Okay. Now, you're like, well, I wasn't expecting that, Chris. Right? I took flying lessons. Mm-hmm. I was stunned, and it was just, you know, those little Cessna jobs, right? Just sure. One of those little things. And they don't have air conditioning. I don't know if you know that, but they don't have air conditioning. Okay. And it was like uh, it was like this time of year, so September, and we're on the runway, we're taxiing, and it's like sweltering hot. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm like uh, to the instructor, I'm like, dude, can you turn on the AC or something? And he's like, just give it a second. And we mm-hmm. took off, and literally within like just like like six seconds, like we're up in the air, mm-hmm. and it almost got cold in there. So mm. so I I learned, and I don't know exactly what the math is and whatever, but the heat that we feel is so. It's so compacted down near the ground that as soon as you get up a little bit above it, and it may be that these things go high enough that it's not really that hot up there. Mm. Okay. So I don't know. But, I mean, it was it was like almost immediately after we took off. So you figure these things are probably, what, uh, somewhere between 50 and 100 feet in the air? You know, not, not where you get on them, but when they go up. Okay. Five, five stories. So I don't know. Five, not stories. five stories? No, not 50 feet? 50 feet. That seems reasonable. No? What do you think? They're like 10 feet? you just like cruising along with the with the traffic? Like the trucks and stuff? <laughs> no, but I would say 25 feet or... No, that's the top of my house. It's going higher than that. My two-story house is 20, 25 feet. Okay, 30 feet then. I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be 50 feet. It's like 1,000 feet. Wow. Maybe that's in meters. It might be metric. Know. It might be. All right, Chris. Well, anyway, you know that's what? all I'm thinking because because you got to believe. I know you're a smart guy, Glenn, but I can't believe that you're the only one that thought, "Hey, it's Florida; it gets hot there." I don't know. <clears throat> you, you you see people in the parks, and I've seen them. Groups of people that you you know you might not want to be like that close <laughs> next to. What if they're getting out of one of those gondolas and you Oof. have to get right in right after them? Mm. I don't know, man. I. Not they don't have air conditioning in the monorails at Disneyland, and I rode the monorail at Disneyland in oh, February. I thought about that. Yeah. Okay. And um, uh, yeah, it wasn't comfortable. <laughs> in so it many was, ways. and and there's not a lot of humidity there. Why don't they have air conditioning in those? They're not even that old. Um, from what I understand, don't tell me tax savings. It's not that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, I think it's a. Uh, I think they can only put the. Uh, I'm gonna get this wrong, but I think they can only put the the air conditioning on top of the monorail, and right. because of height clearances, oh. it, well, what does it land, go? Uh, what, what does it go under? What it goes through, um, it yeah. can't re, it can't fit. Because yeah. some of them in the past, I believe some of them did have um, air conditioning, and they may have tried air conditioning with these when they first. I'm trying to think back, but um, when these first went online, but the, but they were like. It just wouldn't work or whatever, and they they actually took it off because um, it wouldn't work. And so, yeah, it's it's not as as bad as the monorails are at Disney World and stinky and everything else. Um, that air conditioning feels really good when you get in there. Well, yeah, of course. Of course. So I don't know, man. I, I understand what you're saying, and I'm sure they, there is some kind they, of physics. They gotta, that, they gotta understand this because otherwise. I mean, I know, it's man. a box. It's a seal. Well, I'm I sure know. it's not hermetically sealed, but it's and you're going to be baking in the sun as it transports you I over to know. your. That's why I was shocked to see this. Wow. I don't know, man. I I don't get that. But okay. Well, I guess I guess you know. I guess you could be arguing with me. Like, do do you think these are going to go higher than the monorail at uh, at uh, Disney? Yeah, they'll World? go higher than the monorail. Okay, because that thing, when that air conditioning goes off, you know it, right? Oh so. yeah, you do. Hmm. So, okay. Uh, well, interesting thought. So, is okay. It, well, well, okay. So, it's going to have vents. Well, what about when it rains? When it's storming? No, you're going to get wet. <sighs> okay. Well, you won't care because you'll be plummeting to the earth when the when the wind breaks <laughs> well, the cables. I didn't want. I didn't want to say that. But <laughs> you're like, screw the AC. You know, I got bigger problems. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but you will have onboard audio. God, right? if I only I was more comfortable as I go hurtling towards the earth. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. These, this is the greatest idea 
that the Walt Disney Company has ever We're had. Getting a I lot cannot of wait. I cannot wait till these things. We are thought we got a lot of mileage out of uh, Gondola. Oh my uh, the the, the, uh, the uh, <laughs> Cabanas. <laughs> can't even remember the names. The Cabanas. Yeah. Yeah. This is nothing compared to that. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I can't wait for it to start. I can't wait for the video of you the first time you ride it that we put up on YouTube. It's gonna, gonna be all. Awesome. I'm gonna be all smiles, man. I, I can't wait to <laughs> ride it. All right. Meanwhile, I'm doing some research on air temperature, uh, altitude. Uh, right. Okay. Well, don't get, get too deep into it. Ground right. versus surface air temperature trends. That sounds like something I'd want to read. All right. Well, you I, keep I'm going. I'm going to keep forward. Looking. Okay. So uh, next rumor is that there. So a couple episodes ago, we we talked about um, the possibility of Brazil being oh, a new yeah. country in Epcot. Yeah, yeah. So that still hasn't been announced or you know any anything further leaked than still it's, it's still leaked. sitting in that in that golden space known as rumor territory yeah so it's still it's still, oh, it's still rumor um okay. but uh there is another country that is rumored really um, yeah Do for tell. epcot tell. is it and germany it is not german no hmm. it's not germany um, i should look at who's going to be buying their all their energy from russia apparently <laughs> um maybe it'll be russia <laughs> they, it is not going to be Russia. It is going to be India. Really? Yes. I don't see that happening. And the main attraction will be a ride based on the live action Jungle Book. Well, now that's interesting. A boat ride. Why would it? Why? Why India? Who? Who would? Because you always have to have like a sponsor for these things, right? They, they, one way or another. Why? Why yeah. would it be India? Do we? Do we? Is there any? Is there any reason? Yeah, uh, no. It, just because the the Jungle Book uh, made like a billion dollars, so Did it? with the live action one. So yeah, saying? it it was very successful. Hmm. I didn't think it was that good. Uh, it grossed almost one billion dollars worldwide. That's, worldwide. That's not, and did it was you like a, it. Did you even see? It, it was critically and commercially successful. Yeah, not mm-hmm. not in my house, not with me. No, I haven't seen. No, I refuse to watch any of these live action. Oh my god, Glenn! You, you I, know, I, I I haven't seen the live action Beauty uh, and the Beast. I haven't seen any how, uh, any. How of these. do you feel? How do you feel that you? Uh, and I know the answer to this, but for the people that don't know you, as as well <laughs> as I'm lucky enough to know uh, you, yeah. How how do you feel that you are qualified to have an opinion on things that you haven't even seen? It's like with my seven year old wife. Right. Like, you have to try yeah. the food to know you don't like it. You can't I just know. look at it sure. and say, "I know." So should I watch the Jungle Book? Yes, no, and then you can see. you can. What do you mean? What? And, and then of waste two hours see. of my life that I'll never get back. Well, that I can't. But you should watch Beauty and the Beast because that one was good. Okay. Well, okay. you should. My, my daughter says the same thing, but well, see. If I'm not going to listen to her, I'm certainly not going to listen to you. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to rethink that plan. So, uh, uh, all right. So they're they're also going to make a sequel, would be Jungle Book Two. So wait, wait. I'm sorry. So the India. Are you saying? I, I blanked out for a second because I'm yeah. still looking, researching air you temperature changes. That. Go ahead. Uh, and I can't. I got. I found like charts. Uh, ooh, bleep, bananas. I found like charts and stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> I found charts. First time that happened. I found charts and stuff now, so I'm I'm all distracted because you know ooh, charts. Um, all right, let's let's stop. Let's <laughs> talk about your charts, and then we'll come back to India. No, no, no. I don't have the answer yet. Anyway, are you saying that? <laughs> That the rumor is that it's India instead of Brazil, or that we're also no, getting it's going to be one. no uh, from yeah, it's going to be both. Wait, it's going to be like a combined? No, no, no. We'll get two new countries: India. one Brazil and one uh, <laughs> India. That'd be funny, Brazindia. <laughs> Just make a new mythical place. It's, it's right next to Pandora, <laughs> right, or Norway. <laughs> <laughs> Arendelle and Brazilia. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh. <laughs> oh, we shouldn't do these so late at night. That's funny. Yeah, I know. All right, all right. When can I go see the India? When's it gonna be built? Um, uh, it will be. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> after just 2019 make, Glenn, it's a rumor show just think of anything right now <laughs> 2022 I just completely entered, uh, created a new meteorolo- meteorological uh, phenomenon 2022 whatever <laughs> 2022 uh, alright get yeah. back to me when you got something alright okay well so uh. that's that's in <laughs> alright this episode is sponsored by Park Leap do you hate waiting in lines for your favorite rides at Disney World Universal and Disneyland Of course you do. Everyone does. Park Leap tracks current wait times for attractions in real time, analyzes them, 
and gives you immediate guidance on what to ride now and what to skip for a shorter wait later on. ParkLeap saves you time so you can do more, see more, and ride more. Many theme parks provide their own apps, which is great, but they only report the times. You only get information, you don't get guidance. Is that 40 minute wait good or bad? ParkLeap can tell you. ParkLeap also includes an interface that is clean, quick, and easy to use. Many vacationers travel to multiple theme parks, now one app does it all. Whether you're a local resident and annual pass holder, or travel great lengths once a year or every few years, you want to make the most of your time and money. This is the app to get to help you do that. Get ParkLeap in the Apple App Store. And thank you to ParkLeap for sponsoring Starport 75. Next. All right. <laughs> so I saw this. This was interesting because it just opened not that long ago. Okay. Uh, there's a rumor that uh, Pizza Rizzo at Hollywood Studios is getting ready to close. Okay. So it could be anything from they're going to close it to redo the menu, which they need to redo the menu. <laughs> yes, we're going to have <laughs> pizza. <laughs> um, to uh, they're going to change it to a um, uh, Swedish chef uh, theme hmm. restaurant. That would be that would be interesting. To they are going to close it and um, it's going to be absorbed by Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, as, <laughs> like everything else, yeah. as a uh, as an eatery for it. But that's no, it's too far into like. Muppet it's it's kind of well yeah so they so right so i don't know what they would do so so there's many many different options for what's being rumored but they just what i yeah i get back to they just opened it it's like not that it's not that old yeah. It, yeah. it opened maybe, last it's, year. maybe it's really not doing that well i mean we complain well, about not. on, on the show so I mean, well that's it's... my point is that maybe uh maybe that's my point is that um you know what i'm saying well and the other thing the other brilliant thing that i cannot uh, understand why these chiefs in uh, at Disney Imagineering <laughs> came up with Jeez. this? Who who themes a restaurant after a rat? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't forget that choice. it's Mickey Mouse. I, I, <laughs> all right, don't yeah, but he's don't not point really out. Yeah, a exactly. But but I mean, it's Pizza Rizzo and it's Rizzo the Rat. Like, do yeah. you really want to go eat at a place that has a big rat on the sign? Not usually. And if you do, you might as well. It should at least be uh, Remy, right? But actually, right, on the cruise ship, it's a. Have I mentioned I yeah, went on a Disney cruise recently? Yeah. yeah. The uh, the most expensive place on there is named after named after the rat. I know. Did you watch that video of uh, the Victorian numbers? No, it's still no. It's still on my still on my to okay. view my right. to view list. So anyway, so so that's uh, that might be closing around October twentieth. They actually have a date. Wow, in, that's a big in here. That's so a big day. Um, apparently, like the uh, Rafiki's. Uh, 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 Planet Watch um, closing. They told the cast members first, and um, so apparently they told the cast members that it's closing around October twentieth. Hmm. Wait, so I'm, I'm trying to jog my memory here. It's late. Bear with me. What? Yeah. What? Pizza Rizzo was Pizza Planet before, right? It was Pizza Planet before. Yes. What was wrong with Pizza Planet? Why? Why can you just leave it? That I mean, that that was perfect theming. What? Why well, did they have was, to go and change it? Well, sure, but but it's completely out of place there now. Because really? they have Toy Story Land and it's over, like they're trying to consolidate, right? They so you can oh, have this I one see. oddball. I see, I see, I see. I see. You know, okay. All before right. yeah, it was all I didn't connect that. Yeah, you're yeah, right. it was all yeah. random, but uh, but now they're trying to. Oh. You know, this is Grand Avenue, and they have the Muppets, and yeah, you're you know, right. So they're trying okay. to theme it, be more cohesive with with their theming. Well, then maybe that's the reason. Maybe maybe it's more from an artistic thing to to change it to something else. I don't know. So the other, but the, the, you know, the reason that would work for Star Wars is because you have Star Tours, right? Right next well, to it. And then yeah. you have Galaxy's Edge. That's going to be right on the other side of it. I guess you could. So it, it could be morphed in, but, but like you said, I mean, that's cutting it really close to, um, Muppet. Yeah. Bay, because the, right? the actual restaurant is in from like the seating area. Like it's, you know, it's right next to the Christmas shop, right? Yeah. It's kind of, it's yeah. kind of in there. Right. Hmm. Yeah, so I, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, but you know, it's their park; they can do whatever they want. I guess. I know. So anyway, that's uh, right. pizza. What would they? What would they? How would you theme it as a star? If it were you, what would you do? If you, if like your charge was okay, we need to come up with a concept for Star Wars themed eatery. Oh gosh, and um, probably needs to be pizza. <laughs> right. Well, uh, you know, you have your meteor pizza. Um, 
So, uh, you know, I don't. Uh, so, Galaxy's Edge is fictional, right? It's it's not. You, you can't, <laughs> as opposed to. <laughs> well, <laughs> I just got what I said. <laughs> But You're it's right, not. Glenn. It's not that a, one. That part's all make believe. <laughs> it's not a <laughs> known entity, right? So it's it's not. Uh, you can't say, oh, no, it should me, be the cantina. Not yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, right, right. So it can't be the cantina. It can't be, right. uh, You know, um, Amparu's uh, kitchen or anything <laughs> like that. So, mm. um, yeah, it would just have to be something random, and yeah, they'd have to serve blue milk. I mean, that's the main thing. <laughs> That's what it all comes down to. It, it honestly, yeah. Well, wait, um, cheese is cheese is made from milk, right? So would it oh, be blue true. cheese? Blue cheese on the pizza? Well, you know, in uh when I went to Disneyland a couple of years ago, they had the uh overlay of Star Wars um uh, I forget what they call it, but uh for Tomorrowland, they they pretty much overlaid a lot of Star Wars stuff. And so one of the restaurants, the Tomorrowland Terrace, was essentially taken over by Star Wars and they had like the Darth Vader burger and mm. um, C-3PO fries or whatever, mm. you know, whatever Just it was. Just random, whatever. Random yeah. stuff, exactly. Yeah. And so, I don't know, they could do something like that. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I think I, I think it needs to be a quick service place where they, yes. you know, they, they need more of that. Right. Yeah, makes sense. So, anyway. Mm. Okay. Cool. Uh, and then the last thing is, this isn't so much a, of a rumor. I mean, it, this is actually happening. Um, but they they finally have. Wait, wait, wait! You're trying to inject fact into this uh, rumor show? Uh, I am. I am. Yeah. Uh, they are. Um, uh, there's some conceptual drawings. They're they're gonna build a third hotel uh, in between the Swan and Dolphin. No, disallowed, <laughs> denied. And it looks nothing like the Swan and Dolphin. It looks no, like a. It Marriott screws with Court, the name Courtyard. So no. why would they do this? Yeah, it's it's I don't know, man. Well, because Michael Graves is dead, and so they can't get him to design yeah. a, another. Oh hotel. gosh, nobody nobody could possibly make something that looks uh, something <laughs> like that. No, no, but the main problem. I don't care how it looks or what it is. Uh, yeah. The problem is it messes with the name. I mean, it's the Swalfin. Yeah, the Swalfin. Yeah, I know. What are we gonna do? This something else? It, it just probably, looks like a, they're probably just gonna call it the hotel. Like the, it's just gonna be. <laughs> You know. Mm. Now, why do you say this isn't rumor? Like, the, what what is pushing this to fact territory here? Um, because they, uh, the Orlando Business Journal confirmed the story. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So, so where would this go? It's going to be a fourteen-story, uh, three hundred forty-nine room hotel. It's should, pretty generic. To your point, it's just like yep. a. That's terrible. I can't do that. Yep. The only reason I partially approve of it is the concept drawing has a Mini Cooper in it. So I'll, I'll allow it for that. <laughs> That's all. Awesome. I didn't even notice that. Uh, hmm. Um, okay. So the nice thing is that on the top of the, the fourteen stories, uh, now think about it though. Oh, the, from a distance, it doesn't look so bad. The four, uh, you know, contemporary is fourteen stories, so yeah. it'll be it's about the place. same height as the contemporary. But at the top, they're going to have a uh, restaurant and bar. Yeah. So you can overlook the you know Epcot, wow. and uh, so that that'll be nice. Why do you think they want? Why do you think they need this? What what is this solving? Well, so this goes back to our episode about. Um, the Swan and Dolphin, and yep. you can you can listen to it on our on starport seventy five dot com. Nice plug. Okay. Um. So if you remember back, this goes this goes back before Michael Eisner came came on board. Um. Uh. The Tishman Group. Yep. Uh. Had agreements with Disney to. Um. Uh, they they're the ones they were the general contract contractors for uh, Epcot. And so, as part of that deal, they um, uh, they they had a deal to build um, hotels on Disney property, and Eisner wanted out of that deal very bad, right. very badly, because it was a, a horrible deal for Disney. Sure. Yep. And so, um, uh, Tishman sued, and they were going going to win. And so, Eisner finally relented and said. Hey, okay, fine. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it my way. I'm picking the, we have full approval and uh, we're picking the architect and everything else. So he went to, you know, that's when he went to Graves and, and got the design and everything else. Um, so, so um, that is why there are these hotels that are completely out of place <laughs> right by Epcot. Um, and you know, they, they interfere with every sight line in 
world showcase and everything else um, because it's just a fulfillment of a deal, a bad deal that was made. Wow, really? So this this is cut like, um, hmm. so was it like they had approval to build three properties, or just like they can do yeah. anything they want with the land, or what 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 coverage do they have that to, to lets them do this? Yeah, so they they have they do have an agreement to to build a third hotel oh. uh, that was part of it, and they just haven't. And so now they're cashing in those chips. Okay, fair enough. But then, like, like Eisner said, well, I, you know, I get to oversee and pick the architect and stuff. Why can't yeah. Disney step in and say, well, hold on, that's that's hideous. We're not doing that. Well, because have you seen what the Imagineers are coming up with oh, for the Riviera right. Hotel? Yeah. And, okay. I mean, it looks like this. It looks like garbage. So like, yeah, like they don't good. they don't care about the the outside of hotels anymore. They they don't they they're more you know I'm not saying it's wrong, but they're more concerned about the inside. No, but the, the, in fact, more people see the outside. I I know. I, I'm just saying what the trend is right now. They don't care about the the look of it. I mean, they're they don't. Mm-hmm. It's clear if you look at at what they're building, what Disney themselves are building right now. It it's garbage. No, yeah. they're not building contemporary. They should at least and, done something to kind of make it I mesh know. a little bit more. I agree. I mean, it's it's completely a different style. It's like you know. Oh, it is. Mm. Absolutely, it's not a courtyard though. That that was unfair characterization on your part, but well, okay, well. but it looks like it could be like a Radisson Blue or something. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's just kind of you know, meh, city hotel. Kind yeah, of, I mean, it's it's nothing special. That that's yeah. what I was getting at. Yeah, I agree with you there. You know, but these mm. are very popular because you know uh, they're run by Starwood. Yep. And so you can use your Marriott points right. and everything, you right. know, and so people do that. And so that's why these hotels are very popular. And mm. and this okay. one will be just as popular. And they have a lot of conventions there and everything else. So. Oh, right. Yeah, those are big convention spaces. Yeah. Will this be, do you know, is this going to be a convention hotel as well? Or? Yep. Yep. They okay. are adding uh, 21,000 additional feet of meeting space. Okay. That makes sense. Hey, speaking of which, um, I saw the, the new Coronado Springs uh tower they're building over there that yeah. thing is that thing's crazy big like yeah, that's a uh, pretty impressive so yeah hmm. but big's not always up there so. no no I, i'm just I, i'm not i'm not no. applauding it for its size i'm just yeah, saying yeah. wow it's just it's uh i don't know just always impressive to see because coronado springs was such a, a low-lying sort of yeah. resort now well, you have this giant true. you know this yeah. giant thing there it's kind of that's all that was my only point boss yep yeah. But no, you're right. I mean, they are they are building high high rises now. I mean, they went a very long time right. not doing that. Yeah, because yeah. they have the land and they just spread yeah. out. And yeah. Huh. Okay. So now they, since they're building, uh, uh, you know, the the gondolas, uh, <laughs> a thousand feet in the air. They want they want buildings that can match <laughs> meters, them, right? man. Meters. M- meters. Yeah, come on. Okay. I still haven't found it. I found lots of uh, air temperature, uh, but they mostly talk about the air in the stratosphere versus you know, <laughs> right. at ground well, level. So. That that'll be your your follow up homework. I'll work, I'll work on that. Yeah, yeah. please I, but, do. But I my real world hear. experience was true. Is like as, as soon as we got just it it couldn't okay. have been more than you know fifty feet in the air, and it was uh, it was markedly cooler. Freezing. So. I know. Yeah, I did the, did the landing gear ice up and stuff? I, well, we had de-icers. <laughs> D- oh, okay. All right. Dummy. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know anything about aviation? I don't. I know nothing. <laughs> it's Florida. You got to have de-icers once you oh, get up there. That I, I, know, I, know, I know that I hate <laughs> flying, so there's have you ever been in a you ever been in a small plane like that? A bit um, not, no, not a Cessna. I've been in, you know... Um, uh, smaller, like a little uh, regional, propeller. regional thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Regional jet, but yeah. uh, not jet, but you know. What I mean. Yeah, right. Prop plane. But that's uh, that's as close as I've come to. Yeah, it's fun. I no, it. it's one not. of these days. It's on my bucket list. One of these days, I'll uh, I get my pilot's license. One of these. Yeah. Days. Yeah, but that's another rumor. So, is that uh, after uh, the photography business or? Hey, smarty pants. No, that's that's uh, that's gonna happen. You know, and you're gonna ride Good. my coattails. And I gonna, look, I'm. And, I'll uh, jump on them. I have no problem. If only, with if only you lived closer. I know. And could uh, oh, well. you know help out a little bit? Yeah, there's a rumor you're gonna move back. Did I tell you that? Yeah. Is there? Really? Yeah. There's a rumor you're gonna be in. Uh, you're gonna move back to the Central Florida area. Well, I, I think I have my daughter convinced to do it, but. Uh, <laughs> Come on. My son is the... Who uh, runs your house? <laughs> oh, hold on. Your son or you? Huh? Oh, my God. Yes, I, you can cut all this. Nobody cares about our ramblings. 
All right, my friend. These are my favorite shows still. We should do these more often. But uh, well, I need more rumors. Well, I, could, I guess we could just do it anytime. I mean, I could, we could just make some. You mean you need more so. rumors? It's just like, hey, I heard. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's how the internet works. Well, that's hey, true. I heard that. Uh, and know, then whatever. we can, oh, did you hear uh, Starport 75 podcast? <laughs> did you hear what they said? Did you hear? Can you believe that, that's, uh, that's my that they're closing the Magic Kingdom? Right. <laughs> For good? <laughs> For good. October 20th. To, to put in a pizza Rizzo. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be one giant pizza place <laughs> right with with literal cardboard for pizza you know I, i've never really had horrible pizza except there like like you know people joke about having cardboard with like ketchup yeah. on it yeah that is the That's closest really i've was. ever came yeah. i've ever come to having a uh that experience. Yeah, I could agree with that. I used to say that, in fact, uh, there's no such thing as bad pizza, but yeah, there can be. Mm, it yeah. is true. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Bad pizza or something else. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> all right. Well, this was a fun well, show. It's a family show. Yeah. All right, Rumors. Do we have a Rumors theme song? If we don't, we need one. Oh, man. Rumors. We got Rumors. Uh, yeah. No, I, don't I wonder think if we can use that. That was taken. If the, <laughs> I was going to say, it sounded like a David Letterman thing, right? You yeah, just it was mail. It was letters. Oh, okay. Le- we yeah, got yeah, letters. There you go. We got lots and lots of letters. Yeah, yeah. Letters. Those were those were the days, huh? Uh, good yep. times. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, buddy. See you next. You know, time. I heard something. You know what, what I heard the other what, day? What I heard they're going to charge two hundred dollars a space for the the, the uh, uh, what do they call that? Premium parking. That's what I heard. No, I'm just looking through other news, trying to see if I can come up with anything. That's got to be a joke, right? Yeah, I just made that up. Okay. Well, but... <laughs> it's a rumor. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? They need to make up for that falling attendance you know? we discussed before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wait a minute. How come you didn't talk about this? Walls come down, door revealed for Captain's oh, Quarters, my God. Club Okay, 33? yeah, let's talk about that. That came out today. Yeah, um, how did you not mention this? All right, so... It's yeah, okay, really rumor, we'll throw that but, in here. So, yeah. uh, okay, so you know they're building uh, Club 33 at every park at yep. Disney World, right? Right. So Magic Kingdoms is the first that they're they're working on, and it's it's built, and the walls came down today. Today is, uh, it, it won't be released now, but today is um, uh, September 25th. Mm-hmm. So they have pictures of it, and it is uh, as you're going from the from Main Street into Adventureland. Mm-hmm. It is where um, the uh, Adventureland Terrace was yep. part of it was and they they used to have uh, it turned into a smoking area but yeah. they had that little bitty patio right there where you go sit and nice and quiet yeah that's that's gone and taken up with this now yeah um so that's, that's gonna be fine. the first time i was there I, I saw the uh go away green walls there and i'm like what mm-hmm. what is this all about i didn't yeah. realize that's what it was yeah, they weren't advertising it, and so it's you know it's supposed to be hush hush, right? It's it's a private club, and so they're not going to be advertising too. Is much. it really hush hush? Well, I mean, people will know it's it's an open secret, if you will. But right. I mean, you know, you or I couldn't go knock on the door and go in. I, I could if no. I paid my. Oh, here we go. I'm looking at something on uh, WW News today. Yeah, this is from a while ago, I think. Uh, membership include initial price to join. Do you know this? Uh, fifteen thousand. No, the initial dr- uh, price, which shouldn't be a surprise, is thirty three thousand dollars. Thirty three. Oh, thirty three thousand. You get it? And yeah, but I then the that. annual membership is fifteen. Okay, there we go. Membership and do you know what membership includes? You want to hear? Um, this isn't really a rumor. This is news. But no, go ahead. Go, I, all right, access to all four Walt Disney World Club thirty three locations. Okay. I, I guess I missed when we t- I missed that detail when we talked about this. So mm-hmm. they're having four. Like each park is getting a Club thirty three. Yes. How are you not incensed by this? You should hate this idea. Oh, I despise it. Oh, okay. Well, you seem so... That, I don't... Like it is I'm so upset with it that I don't even want to talk about it. Premier passport for the members... For the members... Member, spouse, and any children under age 26. Premier passport. What is that? Um, That is a pass that allows you access to Disney World and Disneyland. No. Oh. And, and <clears throat> the water parks and all that good stuff. Now here, here's where it starts to you start to get your money back. You ready? Okay. Oh, okay. Please fifty, tell me. yeah, fifty one day park hopper tickets a year. Oh, 50. cool. That's like five thousand dollars worth, right? Five thousand, yeah, five thousand dollars worth of park pass. It well, is actually. less probably. Yeah. All right, five day long VIP guided tours. Mm. 
Actually, that, that's uh, I think at two hundred bucks an hour. See, day long. Yeah, how okay. many? Five of them. Five of them. Hmm. Day long VIP guided tours. Access to private concierge service. A, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> A limited number of instant fast pass plus reservations. I mean, come on. I'm spending forty five thousand dollars for my first year. I can't get unlimited fast passes. Right. Wow. Well, you have to tell me how this is. Can you bring friends in? Will you bring bringing me? Uh yeah. If you, members can bring guests, sure. Oh, nice. But you so, also have to pay for your meal. <laughs> you can't throw in a you can't throw in a a cheeseburger. Nope. Oh, that's crazy. Wait. So the rush to open Hollywood Studios location is likely tied to the upcoming end of the fiscal quarter. For the, well, this was a while ago. <clears throat> All right. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it does. I mean, there's nothing. I'm I'm sure. I don't know if they're done putting all the accoutrement on the outside, but it's not a big neon sign that says Club Thirty Three on it. No. Fascinating. All right. no. Well, it's ready for you. All right, I'm gonna get the one in Animal Kingdom. That one I heard is gonna be like thirty three dollars to join. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, yeah. Wow. They really have invented some really neat <clears throat> ways to take your money, haven't they? You think? Well, somebody's money. Okay. All right, is that a show? We covered all the rumors now that you're all Yes, we have. Upset about Club 33? <laughs> uh, yes, we have. All right. All rumors all the time. All right. Pretty cool. We'll talk to you next time, Glenn. See okay, you at the park. Good. All, right. all right. Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Starport 75. Follow Chris on Twitter and Instagram at CB Gray and Glenn on Twitter and Instagram at Dizwiz. Follow the show on Twitter and Facebook at Starport75 and Instagram at the Starport75. For all things related to the show, including show notes and links to connect with us, visit us at Starport75.com. <laughs>